A UK-based team of researchers from BP and Johnson Mathey have been recognised for their waste to fuel catalyst technology. We have too much of this. We need a more sustainable approach to this. And we must think about this. In theory, we could turn this into this, cutting out the need for this. But is this viable? Now, thanks to groundbreaking research, converting waste to fuel could be a viable possibility. Municipal solid waste is the stuff we throw out every day that ends up in landfills. Then, a process called gasification converts it to syngas, a mixture of mainly carbon monoxide and hydrogen. A reaction converts syngas into the long hydrocarbons needed for high-quality aviation fuels. This reaction is called the Fischer-Tropsch reaction. But to make this reaction sustainable and efficient enough to be industrially viable, it needs a catalyst. And this is exactly what the team of UK-based scientists and engineers from BP and Johnson Mathey have created. Their expertise has been used to develop a new catalyst, which reduces byproducts, increasing performance and efficiency. They've also developed an easily transportable CANS catalyst carrier, enabling the process to occur in a reactor a third of the size, with 95% fewer tubes. Overall, it's more sustainable and less resource intensive. This technology will be deployed by Fulcrum Bioenergy in Nevada, with plans for further plants across the US and Europe. It will be the first commercial-scale municipal solid waste conversion plant in the US, expected to convert 175,000 tons of waste into 11 million gallons of fuel each year enough to power over 180 transatlantic return flights. This offers real potential for a greener future, removing non-recyclable waste from landfill, producing a cleaner burning fuel, which increases the lifespan and economy of vehicles, and providing a vital step in the transition to low-carbon fuels in the transportation industry.